Well, hey guys, it's your little auntie, the one that looked just act too young for her age. And I know this might feel like deja vu, but we are back with a round two. So if y'all ready, let's go. <laughs> First, we have to hear from our sponsors over at Timu. So this go around, I decided to focus on mostly hair and hygiene stuff. I'm testing it out for y'all. Y'all ready? Let's so go. Honestly, I decided to focus on hair because you guys know my daughter do hair now. And I just want to help her out, okay? I do. I do. So let's start with some crimpers. They say hair curlers, but this is what you use to put those big beachy crimps in your head. They are pink, so let's pull them out the box so you guys can see what they look like. It's a high quality, high temperature, um, stainless steel, work indicating lamp. So guys, this is what they look like right here. Oh my gosh. I can't wait till my daughter do my hair and use these. Alright, so that's first. And please remember... Everything on Timu is very inexpensive. I do have a discount code that will get you 30% off. I will scroll right here on the screen. Everything is already up to 90% off. And, you know, they have all kind of split pay options and everything. So, get on over there. And I sure will link all of this stuff below with the discount code. This is another hot tool. It is called a hot airbrush, you guys. If you know me, you know I love the one I already have. My daughter uses it all the time, so I decided to get her her own. So basically, it's a straightener and a brush in one. I mean, a straightener, brush, and it dries your hair all in one. Look how freaking adorable this is. It's gold and black, guys. Oh my gosh, that is freaking gorgeous. Oh, I love these. Love these. I will highly encourage this. When I wash my hair, it takes away... Two hours of trying to detangle, blow drying it with this. All right, honey, since we're on hair straighteners, here's another one. Curly Straight Hair Multi-Purpose Hair Straightener. Now, this is the one that's like a brush. It's like a brush. And from the look of things, y'all know mama got purple. It's a very pretty light purple. Let it focus. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you just comb through your hair and it straightens it. Here's a wax stick, guys. I have to have these to do my hair, okay? So basically what it is, is just literally what it say. You push it up and you put it on your hair and you flatten it or get the flyaway stuff. Mama got her hair dryer. I have been wanting one of these. They look like Dyson. So I got this one in white and gold. Has the cooler three settings very chic looking this is great quality guys but i didn't stop here all right guys so this is the other color stop playing yeah no yeah y'all know i had to get this one it's like purple and black let it focus come in close there we go this comb right here came with it a wider tooth comb so there's a stand that come with it as well you get a diffuser is that what this is called and you get another attachment love right, it so that's all of the hair tools they sent two of these i think it was by mistake because they're the exact same color and everything so this is the device right here and it came with four other attachments so you can remove this and add different attachments for what you're trying to do if you're trying to exfoliate if you're trying to polish if you're trying to scrub different yes. things honestly nicole and i already claimed this okay it is the facial hair remover she was like i know i saw you open it where is it i'm like girl can i show you two first this is what it looked like and it's another one of those as seen on tv things and it's what you get your facial hair and etc. with. Y'all know I'm on my dental hygiene stuff ever since them par parasites tore my mouth up, messed my gums up. Oh, I don't play. So I got an electric toothbrush. It's the C-Joy Sonic Electric Toothbrush. That's the box. 
and guys i'm not going to even pull this all the way out because honey let me just show you the, the the device but look at all of the attachments that's what it looked like right there it's pretty too oh my gosh and you just take this off hold up I, it ain't that simple Nikki. hold on do you twist it boom and add another one when it wears out so y'all thought i was playing we got a dental scaler yeah get up in them gums <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not going to take this out the box, but that's what it looked like. Oh my gosh, I'm so like excited. a more gentle effect. Guess what else I got? A water pick. Yeah, I'm obsessed with my water flosser. Oh, look at that one. It's so sleek and it's black. Oh gosh, I love these things, guys. So book me for your dental appointments not just playing i will leave timu links below make sure you check them out they got it all over there i've showed you guys some of everything from timu get to timu all right guys so if you've been here for a minute you will remember my infamous viral feminine hygiene video okay that brought a lot of you guys here it went viral and i was getting like thousands of subscribers a day and what that created was a trend so what happened was everybody started doing their hygiene videos and so youtube start cracking down because some people just don't know how to act they don't they saying the wrong stuff not saying the wrong stuff but like the body parts and stuff and if you're not a doctor you really can't be on here talking about that kind of stuff and giving it <laughs> and it just got a little too vulg vulgar it was just too much for YouTube. So I started demonetizing them and all that, which I hate because that's what brought a lot of you guys here. So I wanted to keep giving you guys that type of video. Um, but I couldn't because every time I loaded any kind of hygiene video, strike, 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 like demonetize, demonetize, demonetize. So I kind of stopped doing them for a minute. You know, you know, once something is trendy, everybody hop on it and it just flopped because YouTube was like, why you have to... It's, it's the way people was doing it, like talking about sex and calling it pussy and, you know, the words that, girl, use the, the, the terms it's supposed to be. Anyway, I have plenty of these videos. I have the one that went viral. I have Dollar Tree items. I have men version. I have, so I will link all of them below for you guys, but this is an update. Yeah, I have no notes. The last time I took notes, I knew the direction I wanted to go and everything with that video, but I didn't this time. All I know is that, you know, a lot has changed. First of all, I don't, I'm a whole different size now. <laughs> um, I'm smaller. Mike can't tell on from his view, but I am. Um, also, I'm post menopause actually while i was going through the other video y'all know i'm chatty don't skip none though y'all while i was going through the other video i was actually perimenopause or premenopause and did not know that because i was so young when i was having like all of those vaginal hygiene problems and bleeding and all that kind of stuff they never tested me for menopause because i was so young so i have went through menopause it has been two whole year since i've had a cycle and when i tell y'all everything unchanged <laughs> everything uh, everything it's some stuff i still use that's the same but no ma'am no ma'am miss ma'am sensitive now <clears throat> miss ma'am she just do the most she's she's doing everything that a menopause vagina is supposed to do except the dryness I'm so glad I don't suffer from that but um it was a lot of things that were said wrong in that video but honestly when you're talking like this to a camera you don't realize that you said it wrong to after the fact when like you're editing and stuff so it's a couple of things I want to clear up just a couple like when you're speaking on the vagina the vagina is the actual canal okay that you would use to make a baby have a baby okay then you have the vulva you have the mom pubis or pubis it, it, it's all different types so i will very much so clarify what i am referencing because i think a lot of you guys got that part confused um we look at our lady part as just one whole part but there are different parts that i was using to using different products to treat and so a lot of people's like don't put this up don't do and y'all, y'all, 
I'll be more detailed this time. So anyway, let's just start here. I am sensitive now. Now, the first video, I could use anything, honey. This thing was god dang for tough. Okay? It ain't no more, honey. Uh-uh. You, you look at it wrong. It want to just be irritated and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, I'm just going to go. Let's just start here. Let's just start here. You guys know that video also got me a collaboration with a soap company. I bragged heavily about the strawberry yoni bars, right? I had a collaboration. I came out with the platinum yoni bar and the platinum sunshine yoni bar. The collaboration ended. Me and the owner of the company wasn't seeing eye to eye on some things. And so I stopped promoting the soap all the way around. Big mistake. Huge. Do you understand the velocity of finding something to place, replace that? Do you not understand the trial and error I had to go through with honey pots and dove sensitive and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, trying to replace that soap? Do you not understand how shocked my lady part got? Cause that's what it was used to and that's what used to work. When I say me and my lady part was so excited when I started back talking to her, it was like that ex that she, yeah, yeah, I don't know that one ex that your lady part be like, girl, you tripping, <laughs> call him up. Uh, my lady part was like, oh, yes, thank you. Like a relief instantly just, I don't know what it is about that bar of soap. Nothing can touch that nut for me. Let's start there. For me, all of this is what I use, what I like. Clearly, I'm not a doctor, a nurse, or anything like that. This is just my routine. Back on back on this bar. Y'all should drop some off on my porch, and I dang near did, did a cartwheel into the split. Because I couldn't do that before because my other stuff wasn't keeping me fresh. Okay. <laughs> so, let's just talk about so, it. So, guys, I told you I'm going to be all over the place because... As I think of stuff I'ma just say it, that brings me back to a lot of people put feminine hygiene odor off on weight, age, race, and honey, it don't matter. Everybody can cut up. <laughs> That's all I'ma say. Everybody can cut up. It's not a everybody can cut up. Let's just say that. So, so 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 this is the bar right here. This is a brand new one. Oh my gosh. Of course, it will be linked below. Now, here's the thing. She handmade these. They're always out of stock. So, what you have to do is go on the website and see the restock date. And, like, set your alarm clock in your phone and buy them. Because they sell out so quick because they work so freaking good. Y'all, when I use these, I dang near feel like I could just be sitting at the cookout. Like, I can't even show y'all. Just like, because, oh. Who ain't gonna cut up for like two, three days? And yes, I do know that because Dallas has had a few days where we've lost power, our water was contaminated, and we couldn't shower. And two, three days later, after using these bars, I was still good. And was. I don't know what it is. Pause the video right now. I try to see, tell her to put them in stock when I make this video. I should have told her to just come over here because they... She look different now too. Both of us have our size now. <laughs> but no cap. This is not sponsored or anything. She has so many different fragrances. One without a fragrance. Which these are, they work and I'm sensitive. And let me tell you what's going on with me now that I'm post-menopause. My skin down there is very thin and fragile. Um, it's kind of like the skin around your lip and under your nose. So anytime you shave or anything like that, ingrowns and stuff want to happen and all kind of stuff. So, child, that's why I was going through it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so serious. I just want y'all to know how sincere I am about the issue. Like... She texted me out the blue and was like, I'm sorry. I, okay, okay. You, you're forgiven. Bring me some soap. Like, <laughs> it wasn't no thought process behind it. And although that's like family to me, you know, we gonna fall out with our family and stuff. I was super excited when she texted me. Oh my gosh. Because I just, I almost start ordering under somebody else's name. 
<laughs> okay, let me go be a challenge to get to the nitty gritty of this. But yeah, get these bars. Get many as you. Nothing like them. No, and that's my favorite strawberry. I also like um, is it tea? Sweet tea. I like Aquafina. Um, but yeah, I love them and she loved them. Now, now, now. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. We're going to talk about the different type of odors. Y'all know you got the fishy odor. You got the, the musty odor, etc. Listen. Listen, listen. This is going to get all it. It's going to get all it. You get your bulb with it. What I tell y'all in that first video, do not put no soap up your vagina, okay? Nothing go up there. N nothing. Unless you're using a boric acid suppository or something like that. But not no soap. I'm talking about around the lips, around the clitoris, around the hair. Uh, that's what I'm talking about in this video. Alright. Listen. Okay. You can go on TikTok because I didn't believe his butt either. Went to a dermatologist. I said, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. This ain't me. Something is different. You know what I'm saying? And my doctor said, let me tell you what you need to start using. My OBGYN. He said, get you this. Yeah, this is how crucial this is. My cousin just texted me. I'm going to put it in a video with her permission. It was like the summertime coming. What we going to do? And I said, baby, I already been back using my bars. What you going to do? And she was like, oh. I said, I told you we talked. And she dropped me off some soap. And she was like, but you didn't give me to go. My people are loyal. They are. And I was like, you got to go. Like, she was like, whoo. I put it right here. Anyway, my OBGYN was like, you're sensitive. You got to think of it as like face skin. And if it's something is good for your face, it's good to go down there remember the area we're talking about not up there and i was like huh and he said get you some facial wash i said what he said yeah for all them ingrowns etc etc and yeah it got to the point i couldn't even shave it was a bush like whoo because baby I ain't finna keep shaving and keep getting ingrown uh, no she gotta stay pretty okay so i was just like i'm not gonna shave my doctor said, go get you some facial wash. Preferably. Listen to me good. No, don't even listen to me. I'm just telling you what I do. Because y'all be like, Platinum told me, mm-mm. My doctor told me to do this and it worked for me. If you want to try that, you on your own. But um, he said, set a film, extra sensitive, nothing with any kind of acids in it. Hyaluronic, salicylic, all them kind of acids, which just probably got it in there. I ain't going to even lie. Let's see. So, this is what worked for me. And as you guys can see, because I got a good light on, it's barely some in here. Thermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. Professional grade skincare. Now, let me see what kind of the ingredients ain't on here. Listen to me. This do me just right. But I would go to Walgreens or something if I if I will list it below on Amazon and all that. Try you could try this, but this is expensive. I'm not gonna even lie. I only start trying this because I work for Dermalogica and I had it already. But I'm not saying you have to get this brand. What is recommended is something extra sensitive, any kind of facial wash that's extra sensitive. So that's why he recommended Cetaphil. This worked perfect for me. Like I could not believe, and I thought about it. I was like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It worked perfect for me. The only thing is, it did not hold me. So, if you guys know me, I shower a lot. I'm stressed out, menopause, hot flashes. I shower sometimes four times a day. I get up at four o'clock in the morning, take a shower. My spouse be like, and I just roll, I just dry off and get back in the bed. I really do. And so, this right here don't hold you though. Listen to me good, y'all. Cause y'all don't be listening. This right here will give you a good eight hours, and then you're gonna need to refresh. But what it do is stop the ingrown breakouts and the discoloration and stuff that you might get down there. All right, we want it the same color as us. We don't want to be chocolate brown and it's this color. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. 
So let's just talk about my safe products, okay? So when I show my shower, I do a shower routine or something like that, you guys are always like, well, it don't take it and take all this, switch your diet. But I know y'all don't think I'm in the shower putting on 40 different diet, body washes and stuff at one time. No, today we're specifically focusing on lady parts. I'll show y'all what's in my shower, but that's not what this is about. So you guys know this right here is one of my favorites still. But it's the exact same as the Cetaphil or the Dermalogica. It's good because, and I love it because it's no sulfates, no parabens, no petroleum. But I recently, I have this little app on my phone. Let's talk about it. It's called the U, Yuku, Yuka app. And I scanned it. <laughs> and um, yeah, it didn't get a good rating. So... Clearly, I use it though because this is gone. But I'm trying to show y'all what the app is. I need to down up, update it. This right here is preferably rose water. I've dibbled and dabbled into a whole bunch of different ones. But it's the rose water one that just get it to me. And so this app, no, it's still not working yet. This is what I use. I get mine from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, those kind of stores. But I do use this because I shower so much. And if I use my Yoni Bar every single time I shower, them things will be going four or five days because I just use it. I, I shower so much. Let's take it back. What you do need to do is soak. A lot of you guys found it so hilarious in the last video. I said you need to soak that thing like a lasagna dish. Think about it, when you cook this lasagna, layer, cheese, meat, tomato paste, all that, it just be sticking to that pan, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stay with me, stay with me. And what you gotta do to get all this stuff to pull out, soak it in some water first. Same thing down there, a lot of stuff happened down there. Menstruation, menopause, hormones, sexual activity, sweat, and then on top of that, if you don't shave, you need to send some water. <laughs> you need to sit in some water, honey. Showering is cool, but you need to sit in some water, honestly. And pull that skin back. Y'all be acting like y'all scared to touch y'all self. Pull that skin back and get clean, honey. But my point of saying that is you do need to soak. I do not have a tub in my room. I have just a shower. So I would recommend... I ain't going to pull it out. Y'all know what a, um, what is it called? You put it on your toilet. Um, hold on, y'all, because I'm going to embarrass myself. I use it to, honestly, I have been through a lot of health problems since that last video, and I had internal hemorrhoids, so I use it for that. Uh, is it a cyst bad? That, that, see, that's that menopause brain. But you can use that if you don't have a tub, just Fill it with warm or hot water, just like if you're doing yourself a beast thing. Sit it on top of your toilet and just sit there and just soak. Like, let it loosen some of the, that dirt and blood and, it, yeah, you, y'all get what I'm saying. I'm trying not to get too, mm-hmm. Soak that thing like a lasagna dish. I said it. So let's get back on showering. Ain't nothing changed. Still use Irish Spring back there. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's real, real close. It's just a little gooch right there that's separated. But concentrate this only on that area. That plays a big part in how your lady part acts and smells. They right there together. They they hand in hand. They One see it, the other one see it. One experience it, the other one experience it. It's just a little bridge that separate them. So make sure you don't cross that bridge. Because... Uh-uh, that's too much. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Now, 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 let's do it good. I'm trying not to be goofy, y'all. If you want to put this where the hair and stuff is, here's another hack. If you're not going to shave, shampoo that hair down there. <laughs> yeah, because they'll be cutting up too, just like your hair on your head can. Okay, we're not going to talk too much about that. So, another thing that helped me a lot, exfoliating. Now, this is what I use to exfoliate. I use a lot of different products, but any kind of 
sugar salt based exfoliant. Not don't go get no Brillo pad on the I ain't talking about that kind of exfoliating. This is from a brand called I, I hate I'm showing y'all this, but I don't because I love this brand. This is from a brand called Skin Potion. Girl, we got the lights going. Come on. Okay. I hate I'm showing you guys this because he stay out of stock. I'm not gonna make it burst. Just get you a scrub. Especially it's recommended before and after you shave too. Get them dead skin cells from down there, y'all. Just like your face shed, just like your body shed. Get them dead skin cells from down there too. I just got a hydrofacial and they showed me all the dead skin cells and stuff that came out my skin. I was like, who? <laughs> Girl, not mine. Yeah, it was. Okay. Just treat her like a precious jewel. Pamper her. And she will be good to you. Y'all know what's next. Y'all know what's next. Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap. Nah, 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 nah. It's always a disclaimer. I make like y'all teach her. Listen, listen, my boy. My boy. <laughs> listen. This is a five to one product. If your butt try to put this directly on your butt, <laughs> on your lady part, you gonna feel like what's what's the baby new song gonna shake some the fireman uh, yeah you gonna feel like you need him you gonna be whew, mm -hmm. yeah you gonna feel like you need to go to the ER just because you're burning okay so what i do is i buy this is like the same bottle i have been having forever right so i buy another big bottle i feel this bottle about to here and fill the rest with bottled water and every time i run out i take the other one i have in there fill it right here again fill it up fill it. you get what i'm saying five to one this is some good stuff it is some really really good stuff hey you squeaky like <whistles> that's not a squeak that's a whistle y'all get what i'm saying but a lot of people they can't do this and so I, let me tell y'all what I do. I be making little concoctions up in there, okay? What I do is I get my towel, I um, wet it, get my yoni bar, and get it soapy, and then just take this, sometimes, this is like when I'm doing a deep, deep clean, like I've been doing a lot and need a deep, deep clean. On a regular the yoni bar and stuff, forget it. And honestly, all of these products just depend, depend on how I'm feeling that day. I don't use all of these every time I shower. Um. Sometimes, like I say, when I get up at four o'clock in the morning, I ain't finna do nothing. Just hit it with the yoni boy one good time, or hit it with this one good time, just to get the sweat and etc. off of me. I be hot, y'all. But mix and match when you need a real deep cleaning, like an oil change, something like this with the yoni boy, regular every day. This it's all about how long you need to last. Like if I know I'm gonna get up at six o'clock this morning, I gotta be in somebody waiting at seven o'clock tonight, but I'm gonna be running around all day. Oh, you best believe I'm gonna hit them with the one, two, three combo. Like, give me a three piece dart. You know what I'm saying? Like this needs to go to the back, this needs to go, and I'm gonna mix the yoni boy because I need to go strong. I need to go strong with no problems. You get what I'm saying? But if I'm just gonna go to bed, go shopping, go work, do an event. Why am I going to use all my products? Just put a little something. You know, I'm just saying, you ain't got to use all of these. All right. So, I'm going to wind it down to what I use like after the fact to stay good. Because it's not that much, okay? And I want you guys to know to be careful with anything. Just be careful with anything you put down there. Test it. Um, even with the like the body scrub, I know a lot of people use those and say it make you taste good. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be putting no sugar and stuff down there. It's gonna make it taste good, but it's gonna make you itch good too. <laughs> it's gonna make you burn good too. You know what I'm saying? So if you're gonna be putting all that down, you better make sure. Just don't. I, I wouldn't personally. So anyway, I still use Nair. Now you guys know me. I am that person that tried because a lot of you guys talk trash about that. The last one too. I try to use as many natural products as I can because of the parabens and etc. that causes cancer. But sometimes you just can't find nothing natural. I take that back. You guys have been recommending something like this to me natural. I'm just scared to try stuff. I told y'all she been acting up. 
she acting like I, I took her baby daddy or something and don't want to act right. So, I was scared to try stuff with him, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, this doesn't do me bad. And actually, this helps more than shaving. Child, it's something about them razors. I don't care if it's electronic. I don't care if it's triple, double, quadruple, extra sensitive, extra. My body be like, uh-uh. No. Act up. Say it all. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. This works for me. I'm sorry. Never works for me. Never have a problem with it. And I don't get waxed because. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't even want nobody seeing me like that. I ain't gonna even lie. And it'll just be I'm on that table, Indian style, like this, and all this kind of stuff. And they, hi, them D. Girl, stop. It's not happened before, but I was at the stomach doctor. Okay, so, but but if I do, hold on, I just feel like I got so much gloss on. Sorry if I got gloss or something, but I'm anyway. If I do have to shave, like sometimes it's an emergency, like I don't have this or something, I use this Tropical Glow Moisturizing Oil. It is from Tree Hut. You can get it from Ulta, etc. Yeah, I would say Amazon, but Amazon be texting. They'll go get some stuff. Like, I was buying the, the scrub and the cream, body cream to this, and it was $20-something. I thought I was really getting a deal. It's $7 and also. But I, I did Amazon returns quick. Don't hustle me. They did. But anyway, this is, it soothes the skin and helps protect against cuts. Now, you can get some regular shaving gel, but I really like this. If you got, you guys can see how much I've used. I really, really like this when I do have to, and when I have to do an emergency, emergency, emergency shave, um, I'm on a lot of vitamins and stuff and, because I lost my hair, and um, when it came back, it came back everywhere, knees, toes, <laughs> and so, like, a lot of grow right there in the cracks and crevices on stretch, like, weird places, like, dang, they're up my thigh. Like that kind of stuff, I use this on, or like the the bulbal part that's right under your stomach to get that hair, not close to your your lips and all that. Mm -mm. Don't shave right there. Well, I can't. Anyway, and after the fact, I do still use spray. There's a lot of con controversy about that too. Now I got this because this is the one that's in my room. This is the Nivea brand. But I try to find the rose water brand. I'm just out right now. Um, something that doesn't have aluminum and paraben and all that kind of stuff in it. Because this is what stops that musty odor like where the hair and stuff be. You know. You got to put some right there y'all. You might not have to. But child. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be smelling like uh, sonic onion rings. And I ain't. <laughs> And okay, guys, so I'm going to do a couple of honorable mentions. They really don't have anything to do with vaginal hygiene, um, but how I follow up. You get what I'm saying? Because it all go together, baby. You got to smell good, look good, taste good. I, um, you, can't, you can't. That's why I talk about the back, too. And I told y'all the last video why I talk about that is because I had this weird experience with an Uber driver, and he told me, so y'all, the memory had... I had ran out of memory, so I was talking about the Uber driver. Yeah, he was just saying how he had a really bad experience with a plus-size woman, and that's why he don't date him anymore, and he said that she was really cutting up back there. So that's why I always touch on that. Go to the first video to see all that. So we got to wrap it all together. My all-time favorite, all-time favorite body wash right now. I'm not talking about, because, like, all time let's just say that because i don't use like dove or um caress or anything like that i literally use bath and body work joe malone coco mademoiselle like yeah i'm not bougie or anything but that's just i just gravitate towards them in the stars by bath and body work moisturizing body wash. the one that looked like lotion almost i hate that they put these in this container Oh, my, first of all, in the stores is my hands down. If y'all want to toast the weekend, the best scent at Bath and Body Work. I ain't lying to you. Mm -mm. I ain't. But this one comes with shea butter, cocoa butter, um, 
coconut oil, instant hydration, rich lather, and it smells so freaking good. Now, a lot of you guys get on me about Bath and Body Work. You do, you do, you do. Because they do have parabens and stuff in them. But this smells so good and feels so good on my skin. I will show you what I use that doesn't have paraben and stuff in it from them that I love as well. But while I'm getting that, this oil was sent to me from Sacred Honey Feminine Care. It's called O Peach intimate body oil it's a one ounce bottle i got a full bottle she sent me three i got a full bottle to show you guys and this is what it looked like right here and this say intimate oil but it's not a vaginal oil don't get it confused i love peach guys this is just like when you about to take it there and you want to smell like that good creamy juicy peach you just put it on like regular oil like inner thigh legs knees whatever not down there but i think it all ties together because it's an intimate oil and it's so good so so good i will link it below i will this is like my last bottle she sent me three bottles and one of you guys actually told her to send it to me because you know i like peach you're a subscriber she wasn't even subscribe subscriber but she you was like send something to platinum send something to platinum because i love your product so much and platinum can put it on the map and i thoroughly have tested it i've run out of two bottles have get some boo and then this is what i'm talking about from bath and body work the eucalyptus stress reliever if you know me anytime bath and body work mark all their stuff down to like five dollars i go in there and only get these two cents like different products but this is the only two cents i get from bath and body work um and this one right here is with vitamin e and aloe and where is it at? Because I know I ain't tripping. Oh, yeah. It's without parabens, artificial dyes. It's not animal tested. It's vegan. And the bottle is 100% recyclable. So, if you want to go a healthier route with Bath and Body Work, go this. And what I use, this is to, I get in the shower, I'll be like, I put it on me first. And I'll be like, no, I'm your ring, I no, I'm your ring, I no, I'm your ring, I no. This takes me down, honey. Hold on. I probably need to be took down now. But it's an excellent body wash as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I forgot something. But I was just showing y'all what I use, right? <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them below. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye.